Good afternoon and welcome to the 2024 AHR Expo in Chicago. My name is Amalia Delianis and I'm the editor of Plumbing Engineer Magazine. Right now I'm standing in the Grunfoss booth here at the Expo and with me this afternoon is Becky Henderson and she's Lead Key Account Services Manager at Grunfoss Domestic Building Services. Becky is here to talk to us a little bit about the product lines at this year's show. Welcome Becky. Thank you so much. And it's great to be back at AHR. It's so much fun because you get all the energy from the show and you get to see everything that's new. Last year, we launched our new ECM speed control products that we did for heating applications. And this year, we're back with the new alpha products for domestic hot water research. Hot water recirculation has been an energy saving solution in the commercial space for a while now. Decades. Decades. And now Grunfoss is moving into the residential space. Can you tell me about the benefits and why is this important? Well, hot water recirculation has been around in the domestic space for a while, but there's been some challenges with it. The, the first and foremost is that old systems, if you were running a pump all the time, you would be firing the water heater all the time. And so, yes, you got the hot water to the point, and yes, you stopped running it down the drain, waiting for it to get hot, but there was standby losses, and then it wasn't necessarily energy efficient. So what we're trying to do is bring together the best of both worlds. We want the hot water at the point of delivery. We wanna stop wasting the water going down the drain because Water, you pay for it twice. You pay for it coming into your home and then you pay for it on your sewer bill, taking it out. So if we can control that, we're saving the homeowner a lot of money, but we don't want to do that to the detriment of their electricity. So what we do is we've now integrated speed control and line size control so that we can bring just enough energy to that pump at just the right time and save tremendous amounts of energy we could do it in new construction with a dedicated return line, or we can give you a retrofit solution that is just as efficient, just as convenient. Okay, so let's talk about the hot water recirculation products that you guys provide okay. to residential customers. Why don't you tell us about them? All right, so our new platform, we're calling it the Alpha Hot Water Research, or HDR, or the Alpha Comfort System. The Comfort System is the retrofit. So how we can get hot water to everybody, even if you've already been in a building. So you were saying you wait for hot water. I do. I live in a hundred year old bungalow in Chicago with a grand old 21 year old tank that ah, does all the servicing. Okay. All right. <laughs> so your walls are all buttoned up, mm -hmm. but we want to be able to get you hot water too. So what you do with the comfort system, you would attach this right to the hot water discharge. We have a swivel connection that makes it easy for the contractor. Then they connect it and the hot water goes out and we want to install what we call our comfort valve, which is a device that will take the hot water, move it across and use your cold water line mm -hmm. as your return line, wow. okay? But we want to be sure that we're at the furthest fixture away from the water here so that every single hot water tap leading to that point has access to the hot water. So where the valve is located goes right in between the stops, see it? Oh, so it's right here. Right here, yeah. So you would disconnect the supply stops, put the valve in line. We give you the connector so you can bring it right to the fixture and it's gonna push the water back and be reheated. But because our valves are so sophisticated, there's a paraffin element and it squeezes it shut. And I talked about that signature. Mm -hmm. If the pump recognizes that this valve is closed, it won't come on Oh wow! because it's warm enough, right? We don't need to heat it. Even if the cycle said, come on. Right? So there's always protocol that overrides it for efficiency. This pump will recognize that there's a call for heat. The window is 95 to 102 degrees. It will come on, it will learn your system in the auto adapt feature, and it will continue to drop by a 10th of a gallon until it finds where your system needs it to be. So it will slow down to exactly the amount of GPM you need to maintain that temperature control. Right? And again, if the valve is satisfied, it doesn't come on. And one of the challenges that we used to have with the old technology was the pump was always deadheading against the valve. And when it would open, you'd get a little bit of bleed through. So what would happen is if you were in the bathroom and you wanted to brush your teeth, you would notice that there was some lukewarm water where that valve was, right? And it's a convenience factor. So what we do now, because we can measure that closed rate, 
we can shut the valve down more frequently. We're not constantly pushing against it. You don't get the cross flow anymore. So that inconvenient lukewarm water in your tap, it's all gone. The other thing that would occasionally happen with these retrofit systems is you'd be in the shower, you'd have hot water, but when the pump came on automatically, you'd get hit with a splash of really hot water. And that's dangerous, right? We never want to scald anybody. So our FlowSense technology also recognizes it ramps up real slow and it allows the temperatures to blend and you don't get that spike in temperature. So it's safe as well as being convenient. So only what we're looking at right now is our dedicated return line. It's the HWR pump, and we have it on a tankless water heater. So tankless is big too, because everybody wants endless hot water. What they don't understand is endless doesn't mean instant, okay? You gotta wait for it to get there. So with our recirculating system, we're able to take this down to just the minimum flow rate to activate the water heater yet not run it so fast that it becomes problematic. So we actually program about a 30% buffer into the flow rate so that we make sure that we cover all the ranges of tankless water heaters out there. And the good news is if you have a tankless water heater in your home right now, the comfort system does the same thing. Fantastic. Okay, so when you install the comfort system, is there temperature settings that, and times that you input? Yeah, they sure the do. So we have a commissioning tool that's available to the contractor mm -hmm. that is a little bit more specific into line diameters and velocities and things like that that, that the trade needs. Mm -hmm. But then we also provide the homeowner with an app so they can schedule when the pump comes on and off. They can automatically turn it off if it's the middle of the day and their pump's not supposed to be running, they just turn it on through their phone. If there's ever a problem, they can pull up a trend data report that says everything that's going on in the system and email it or text it to their plumber. So he looks at the system before he ever gets there and knows exactly what he needs to do. So velocity, mm -hmm. talk to me a little bit about velocity. It's uh, apparently that's the biggest threat to hot water circulation. Absolutely, it's the biggest threat to hot water recirculation because, and if you'll talk to any of the PEX tubing manufacturers, mm -hmm. temperature, mm -hmm. chlorine content, and velocity will structurally damage the cross-link molecular structure of PEX. And then you get pinhole leaks and you got system failures and mm -hmm. things like that. So what we do is that we've actually contacted those industry mm -hmm. experts and they've helped us with right sizing our flow rates based on diameter. So on the front of our pumps, you'll actually see half, three quarter, and one inch, which is the most of what you'll see in a residential application. It knows what those speed requirements are at each of those three settings. So even if the contractor doesn't know, he can set it for his smallest pipe size diameter, the pump will take care of it. And it will never exceed the velocity that will put it into the danger zone for his PEX tubing. So what can the PHCP Pro's team and our viewers expect from your company in the new year? Oh boy. So the neat thing about this, and we love it because we're talking to the green side of it, is the circular economy of it. Everything we can do to this pump, and I'm, I'm saying that we're learning all these new things that we can touch with our electronics, but if we come up with a software upgrade, maybe a motion sensor, okay? Mm -hmm. If we came up with a software where we can integrate new technology, those software updates come to your device. And the minute you connect to that pump, you're getting the same updated technology that we're making that day. So it doesn't obsolete the product, right? You're getting, you're getting the latest and the greatest, and we want people to be able to get a full life cycle out of that product. We don't want pumps going back into landfills. We don't want people having to reinvest to get the latest in technology. We really are about saving. We're about saving water. We're about making it convenient for the contractor. We're trying to help them troubleshoot install the best system by walking through, through it step-by-step step in commissioning tools, and then giving the customer the ability to dial it down when they need to. And we want it to last for years and years. Wow, that's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. It's been a pleasure, thank you. And enjoy the rest of your show. Thank you so much.